Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, so this one comes off the 2017 mark. It's, it's the second piece of a question I'm, I'm taking off that mock paper and it's a cause inverse function. And I just want to do the recording of this one a little bit separately um, because the cause inverse functions or the inverse functions don't come up that often and they can either be very easy or they can be quite difficult like this one. So from the, um, from the log tables, we know that cos inverse of x over a is equal to minus 1 over square root of a squared minus x squared. Sorry, my writing is a bit crap there now. Where did I get that? I'm getting it down here. Okay, so x over a is equal to minus 1 over a squared minus x squared. Okay, so how do I use it? Well, x is the number on top and a, a is always a number on the bottom. Okay, and the a squared goes in here and the x goes in here. Right, so let's have a look at the one we have. So we have differentiate cos inverse of two over x squared with respect to x. Now, you could think we have an a over x here and you would be forgiven for thinking that. Um, but how about I write it like this? So cos inverse of 2x to the minus 2. Okay, what have I done then? Well, I've just employed the reciprocal rule, which tells me that when a square is on the bottom, I can bring it up the top and it becomes a minus 2. Okay, so now when I look at it, can you see that my x term is... 2x to the minus 2 and my a term is in fact 1 okay because I am assuming that, that this is over 1 okay and if I don't have a number on the bottom that is the assumption that I have to make okay now another thing you have to be very careful of when you're doing these ones and, and that's why this one is is the hardest type in my opinion that you can get is that when they when you differentiate one, as in up here, if it's changed, you get one. Okay, sorry, when you differentiate x, you get one. Okay, be careful because there's a bit of a chain going on in here. So in other words, x in itself can be differentiated. So let me not call it x for the purpose of, of differentiating it. Let me just call it U because it's a common letter used. Okay, so take down the power, reduce the power by one. X cubed or minus four X to the minus three. Either of them works. Okay, so where does that come into play? Well, if I employ this rule, as you should, then I get minus one over the square root of my a term is one, so one squared minus my x, which is two x to the minus two squared, but it's chained, so I must multiply it by minus four x to the minus three. Okay. So it's equal to one over the square root of one squared is one um, minus uh, two squared is four x to the minus two to be squared is minus four multiplied by minus four over x to the minus three. Okay, now I just top by top. Okay, you can imagine that is over one if you want. Okay, but to multiply fractions, it's top by top and then bottom by bottom. That's how you multiply any fractions. So on the top, I have a minus by a minus. So I'm going to get a plus. So I have 4x to the minus 3 over the square root of 1 minus 4x to the minus 4. And that's your full answer, OK? Um, 
if you had, if I can just, if you didn't work with reciprocals, okay, you might do it this way. So dy dx being equal to, so your x in this case would have been, I'm just going to put it in blue, 2 over x squared. You would have had minus 1 over the square root of 1 squared. A would still have to be 1. Minus 2 over x squared to be squared. And you would still have had to multiply it by this bit differentiated. Okay, or whichever way you want to write that. So it becomes minus one over the square root of one minus four over x to the power of four by minus four over x cubed. And I suppose sometimes it's easier to think of the numbers in reciprocals instead in that it stops all this fraction business um, because I do think that one looks a lot easier on the eye than this one. And it depends then how far you want to take the one in blue. So of course you could get a common denominator of that bottom so that you get x to the power of four minus four over x to the power of four. And in fact, you could put that on the top. Okay, so either of these is an acceptable answer. Sometimes it makes sense to work in reciprocals. Sorry, sometimes it makes sense to work in, I suppose, positive numbers. Okay, so particularly hard one. Take your time, go through that one, see that it makes sense. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques, such as artificial intelligence, computer vision, and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.